Hey guys, what's up? How are you? Hope you guys are having an amazing one today. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Jarrell. And in today's video, we are going to be playing, swatching, and creating some looks using the brand new Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette. Here is the packaging. We're going to go through the whole entire thing, but I purchased this palette directly from the Natasha Denona website just because it's a lot better when it comes to the packaging. They're a lot faster comparing it to Sephora. I was able to create four looks for you guys let's go ahead and get into the swatches and also the looks but just remember that i have everything linked down below just in case you guys have any questions on regards of what i am wearing everything is going to be linked down below they are affiliated links so thank you so much if you guys are using my links i do also have a code with natasha denona which is a jarell 15 and if you shop directly from her website you do get a 15 percent discount and this is just a one-time code so just in case because i didn't know that either but yeah let's go ahead and get into the video but before we do please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already you can also like this video because that definitely helps out my channel so much and you can also click on the little bell that will notify you whenever i upload a new video and without further ado let's get started Here we have the Natasha Denona I Need a New Palette and it retails for $69. I purchased mine directly from the Natasha Denona website. So here we have the palette and we're going to start this way. So the first shade is Stone, Whisper, Ella, Vague, Travertine, Delia, Silhouette, Muse, Fair, Wit, Sheen, Tender, Mesh, Mia. All right, guys, and as you can see, it's definitely a palette that is leaning more neutral, cool tone, um, beautiful, that's for sure. I do really like this shiny shade that we have here. I also enjoy this last shade just because it's like a cool tone, kind of icy pink, and it's very like new to my collection really nice and beautiful so i am really really interested to see how this is going to transfer to the eye looks that we are going to be creating today so let's go ahead and get into it so i'm taking a sigma e25 brush and taking the shade fair i'm going to add it to my brow bone and just bring it down this is going to be like a super simple kind of look so my son right now is taking a nap so <laughs> if i am talking a little bit softly it's because i don't want to wake him up okay if you know you know I'm going to use the same brush and i'm going to take the shade in vague adding it to my crease just like this and i'm not going to stand out this shade too much i'm bringing it a little bit on the lower lashes this palette is definitely cool tone based on the swatches i have already been seeing so many videos available on youtube like reviewing and swatching talking about this palette and also creating looks but i have not watched anyone's video yet because i want to make sure that i am like you know it's just staying honest to my opinion true to my thoughts i also wanted to make sure that i'm just creating looks based on how i'm seeing the palette not really like being inspired by anybody else even though at the end of the day i mean we can all have like same thoughts um but yeah i'm, I'm really looking forward to just finishing up this video and finally going back and just getting people's opinion on this palette and how they feel about it and all of that good stuff so i'm going to take this shade right here here, Delia and I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to add it all over my lid oh he's awake he's awake using a little bit of silhouette with the same brush just to add it in the outer corner just a little bit to give us a little bit more definition I went ahead and turned down the lights a little bit so you guys can see the sparkle. I'm hoping the camera can actually just show you how beautiful this shade is in particular, which is the Dahlia shade. Super, super beautiful. And it reminds me so much of the Tom Ford quad that I absolutely adore, um, but it was limited edition. If I remember the quad from Tom Ford, I'm going to put it here just so you guys know what I'm talking about, but so beautiful. So what I'm going to do is add Mia 
using the BK Beauty 209 brush. I'm going to add it to the very inner corner. I'm going to bring it up a little bit just to meet with the shades that we have up here. Super, super nice and gorgeous. This is such a simple glam look for sure. All right, so I'm going to be using this Rare Beauty Brown Liner just to tight line and just create a little bit of definition on our lash line. Nothing too intense. I am going to curl my lashes, I do a little bit of my makeup and show you the final look right now of this eye. All right, guys, so now you were able to see the final look. I have no idea what the final look is yet. This is all the editing process of it. But I am back with this face and we are going to move on to this eye. All right, so I am going to take the shade Wit. I think this is like the warmer shade in the palette. I'm trying to see what is it that we can do with this shade right here. So I'm just going to add it to the outer corner and bringing it in little by little. I'm using the Refer 01 brush. So I am going to take a little tiny bit of silhouette which is i wouldn't say that it's cool or warm it's just right there in the middle being a neutral brown really nice i'm going to take just a little bit of it though i don't want to take too much just to give us a little bit of definition all right so now that we have something like this super simple nothing too intense i am going to take the shade muse which is like a really nice beautiful gold and i can see that there is a lot of fallout as i am touching it so just keep that in mind i usually do my eyes first so that is the way that I actually avoid any kind of glitter and I can just clean it up. And you can see how simple and glam this look is. Super nice for every single day, especially if you like your sparkle like I do. So I'm going to build up a little bit of the silhouette shade in the outer corner just because I want to make sure that we didn't lose it. Just a little bit. Cleaning the same brush and now taking wit again. And we're going to just blend the edges just to make sure that everything is really nice and seamless. I cleaned the BK Beauty 209 brush and now we are going to take the shade in Sheen, which is this one right here. I'm going to add it to the inner corner. So I'm just adding wit to my lower lashes and I'm going to take the shade Silhouette, just a little bit of it just to add it and connect it right here to the outer corner. So now using the same Rare Beauty Brown Liner to tie line. All right guys, so I'm going to curl my lashes and add mascara and show you the final look. All right guys, so let's go ahead and start with the third look. I'm going to take the shade Mesh and it looks like it's going to be like a dusty rose. I'm going to add it to the crease and this is the Refer 13 brush. Now using the same brush, I am going to take the shade Stone, which is this one right here. And I just want to see, because this one seems to be a little bit deeper, so I'm just going to add it on our crease. So yeah, this one definitely seems to be a little bit deeper and it's more of a stone color, as you can see. I'm going to add that to my lower lashes as well. And now taking the shade Whisper with my finger, so I'm just going to add it all over the eyelid. And this is just like a true metallic shade. There's no sparkles to it. I also do see that it's emphasizing a little bit of the texture that I do have on my eyelids. Yeah, this is like super cool tone all the way. Taking a little bit more of that stone shade. And just to add a little bit more definition in the outer corner, I'm going to take the shade Tender. Just really keeping it in the outer corner. And adding Tender on the lower lashes as well, just in the outer corner. I am going to take the shade Sheen for the inner corner and just bringing it up and meeting with the shades that we have on our crease and bringing it on the lower lashes in the very inner corner using the Rare Beauty Brown Liner again just to tight line. All right, and I'm going to add this brown pencil also on the waterline and just taking the shade Tender on an angle brush just really, really making sure that it's on really close to our lower lashes and also on our upper lashes, just for a little bit of definition. I don't think that I have ever done a cool tone look like this. 
like this is so cool tone <laughs> yeah it's it's very new <laughs> I don't know if I am like super in love with it just because it's not my vibe. I absolutely love the glam palette. This palette is oh, so good. So, so, so good. And just seeing it like side by side, it, they are so different from each other. Um, but yet at the same time, they're both very like neutral, cool tone as well. But I don't know. I don't know. This is like a beautiful palette and this one is really nice as well it's just maybe the shades that i'm using for this look in particular that is just not you know a hundred percent right now maybe that could be but let me go ahead and just show you the final look for this look right here All right, so this face is back and we're going to move on to this eye right here. We're going to create another look. This is our fourth look. All right, so I'm going to use Tender for this look on a fluffy brush. And this is the What's Up Beauty R103 brush. And I'm going to add that to the outer corner and also to the crease going halfway. And when I feel like there's not a lot of pigment on the brush, I'm just going to start blending it out and just blending the edges. Adding a little bit of stone to the inner part of my crease. And now taking Ella with my finger, I'm going to add that all over my lid. Okay, this one does have like a, a really nice, beautiful sparkle to it, but it's really subtle nothing too intense and using a small brush like this this one is the reference 03 brush i'm going to take a travertine which is more of a metallic shade this one does not have any glitter or any sparkle to it it's just metallic i'm going to run it on my lower lashes and this shade right here it's a little bit lighter than the shade ella and ella does have a little bit more sparkle so here we have ella and this is travertine as you can see I mean, they are different because this one is definitely a little bit more cooler. It's more grayish and this one does have a little bit more brown to it. But when you apply it to the eye, there's really not a huge difference. So just wanted to point that out. And just taking a little bit of silhouette with an angle brush and I'm just going to add that in the outer corner. Like this, really, really close to our lash line. And now taking the shade Muse, just a little bit of it going to add it to the inner corner these looks right here are definitely cool toned down to the max but let me go ahead and show you the final look So let's go ahead and talk about the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Palette packaging. Of course, it's amazing. This color story though, this color story is definitely something that is very special for a certain type of a person, especially if you like cool tones, if you are more into like neutral cool tones, this palette is going to be absolutely your favorite palette of the year. I do have to see the whole entire like complete look in order for me to be able to really um, enjoy the eyeshadow looks that I've created. Um, I think that the second look was a little bit more of like a warm tone, a cool tone kind of look. And maybe that's why it was a little bit more appealing to me just because I lean and go towards those warm tones. Uh, but this palette, this palette... <laughs> This palette would only give you one warm tone in my opinion which is this one right here this one is a little bit more on the neutral sides it can go really more on the neutral side cooler side um, but this is the only shade that i will consider that is a little bit warm tone this one right here which is the color fair it's also a little bit more on the neutral side leaning a little bit more warm it's not so much it's not so ashy so i use all of the matte shades and i do gotta say that they perform really 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 nicely i barely had any fallout maybe when i was using these shades right here i did have a little bit of a fallout but nothing too crazy and i really don't mind because i always do my eyes first i was going to do an additional look but it is almost a midnight and i started this video 
earlier today and I had to split it like that because again my schedule it is a little complicated but I do got to say that I am going to be creating more looks using this palette I really want to create like this like glittery chocolatey kind of look I just I'm so craving that and you're going to see that in a future video that's for sure on a shorts or somewhere because I am definitely going to create that look because I I still wanted to create it for you guys but it is really late I need to put all of my equipment away but going back to the palette I absolutely love the shimmer shades in this palette like the sparkly kind of shades that she's given us and she's also given us a little bit of a new formula which is this one right here in Sheen and I'm pretty sure this one right here in Delia is also pretty new they don't have like a strong base but it does give you like that sparkle and like that wetness look to your eyelids and then it's really really nice and beautiful i absolutely love this shade right here muse is one of my favorites just because again the intensity on this shade is just so perfect so amazing the only shade that i was just waiting to use <laughs> and i was not able to use it because again it's just i run out of time for today and is this one right here and i don't even think i swatched it <sighs> is this one right here i don't know how to say it but it's this one and i waited like because this was going to be one of the last shades that i use for the last look because i wanted to be like super smoky but i don't even remember swatching this shade for some reason because i don't remember saying the name of it but it is really nice and beautiful i thought now that i'm swatching it i thought that it was going to be a little bit more like sparkly but it's like a really nice metallic it does have some sparkles but it's a little bit more subtle this one right here muse is definitely one of my favorite shades in the palette and the second one will be me just because it's like a really nice beautiful cool tone kind of pink it's really nice and delicate super super beautiful like for an ethereal look like this palette definitely reminds me a lot of the tom four that i've mentioned earlier in my video and the other palette that came to mind was the makeup by mario but the makeup by mario one is not as cool as this one right here so again this palette is going to be targeted for those of you that are into neutral to cool tones if you're not into that then you're definitely going to stay away from this palette because it is really really like gray it has like some really nice beautiful like stone shades and you really have to be into those shades like even using these browns right here they are leaning more towards the cool tones but i do gotta say that the color story in particular is just not for me because um, i don't really lean towards those cool tone shades um the formula overall it's absolutely beautiful fantastic if you are into like cool tones and you love those glitter shades those sparkly shades and you're definitely going to really enjoy this palette i think that it really takes for me to see the whole entire look completed for me to really see how beautiful these eyeshadows are because once I apply the eyeshadows without any concealer or base, unfortunately, it just looks like really gray, really dark, not a little ashy maybe. It doesn't look really nice in the very beginning. But once I start applying, you know, my base, my concealer, blush bronzer and the whole entire look starts coming together that's when i'm able to really appreciate how beautiful these eyeshadows look but yeah those are just my first impressions i hope that is definitely helpful to you especially if you were eyeing this palette and maybe you weren't so sure whether you were going to pick it up or not but if you did pick it up let me know in the comment section down below is it your favorite already what do you think about the formula how are you feeling about this palette overall does it remind you of the tom floor palette that i've mentioned does it remind you of the makeup by mario palette but yeah that is it for this video my friends thank you so much for being here thank you so much for your love your time and support please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and i will see you next time